What's up, everybody? It's nice double taking Genesis Classics. What's up once again it's next level taken here Sega Genesis classics this is the ps4 version if you've seen my channel before I have played this before on the Xbox one but now we're playing on ps4 pro don't expect any differences it's 16-bit quality so this is available in VR mode though if you have a VR I don't all right here we go it's a good old bedroom from the uh, 80s or 90s Genesis came out in 89 let's go right to the games library we're gonna play Sonic first because that's the one everybody recognizes yeah there's no Sonic 3 there's no Sonic and Knuckles it really sucks I think it's because of music licensing issues Michael Jackson tracks and uh, if you want to hear more about that there's other videos on the internet search them out The iconic Sega introduction. Boy, did this game move at millions and millions of units back in the day, back in the 16 bit war. Up. Welcome to the stream. Next old taken here. Playing some of the old 16 bit classics. This is the Genesis Collection on PS4 Pro. Comes with 53 Genesis games. More invincibility. We missed a chance to go to a special stage there, but it's alright. 100 coins, 100 rings. Oh yeah, I'm thinking Sonic 3. This is the special stage. I got my Sonics all messed up there. Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 with the, with the lamppost there. But this one here... Oh, this is the pain of the neck. <laughs> We're gonna try to get that KSM rule, no promises. right there no don't fall there <laughs> uh. oh lordy <laughs> pain in the neck there we go still got it Imagine having to do that seven times, yeah. Back in the day I beat Sonic though, Sonic 1, 2, 3, all the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic and Knuckles was a little harder, I can't remember if I got all the Emeralds in that one. I struggle with Sonic and Knuckles for some reason. Playing a Sonic anyway, Knuckles is a little easier. Interestingly enough, you can't do the spin dash in this game, that came with Sonic 2. I'm gonna take you to the boss and then we're gonna go to Sonic 2. You try Sonic Mania yet. 
I have not played Sonic Mania yet. I wanted to get it when it came out on disc. It is out on disc, but I still haven't gotten it. I also want to pick up Shenmue at some point. I hear Sonic Mania is awesome. A love letter from the uh, from fans, not even from Sega themselves. Because apparently Sega stopped knowing how to make fun Sonic games after a while. Although I thought Sonic Generations, the first one, was pretty good. But yeah, most of those get levels are recycled. So, what does that say? I'm probably not gonna get the emerald this time. Hey dude, it is what? a cool game. Oh yeah, I can imagine Sonic Mania. Probably gonna lose here. Not gonna get this emerald. I doubt it. I can imagine playing this in VR. Be throwing up everywhere. Save my progress here, do actually pretty well. Two KSM rolls. Act three, this is where the boss comes in. Victor Miller won the Friday lawsuit. Victor Miller won the Friday lawsuit? Where are you hearing this? No. Interestingly enough, I sold my, my physical copy of Friday 13. When I heard that it was coming to Plus, I was like, yeah, it's a good time. Traded it in. Twitter. Good old Twitter. It's where people get their news these days. For those that would say the Super Nintendo has better graphics than- Oh, I died. <laughs> For those that say the Super Nintendo has better graphics than Sega Genesis, take a look at this game. I'm not saying that Genesis has better graphics, I'm just saying this game is pretty pretty. Pretty pretty, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this game is beautiful to look at, that's all I'm saying. As long as you got one ring, you're good to go. God, that's gonna become a meme or something. Pretty, pretty. Yo, girl, you be looking pretty, pretty. Oh, lordy. I used to love those animations where he just he sits still and he taps his foot. Last time, I think. Yep. A lot of rings that we lost. HM. I'm gonna have to check this out though, about Victor Miller. I mean, I imagine there's nothing going to be done with the game anyway at this point in time, dude. I retweeted it and tagged you. Alright, thank you for that. They're done with the game, though, either way, no matter what had happened. They were looking for a way out, and they got it. And it looks like they cashed in, like, multi you know, multiple ways. They released the... The Cash Grab Edition, as I like to call it, the Ultimate Slasher Edition of Friday the 13th. So they got money that way. 
and then they got more money by putting it on plus and they put it like they did it around the same time like the people that just got the slasher edition must be really heated I mean I guess if, if you wanted the mask and whatever but you can buy that separately mask and poster and there's one edition that just comes with a poster and not the mask for 40 but I think it's $69.99 for the ultimate slasher edition oh yeah I meant to go to the Sonic 2 so let's go do that we'll save here this was not one of my favorite levels anyway in Sonic. This is one of my worst levels in Sonic. I didn't like this level. All right, let me see if I remember how to save this, how to get out of here. Oh yeah, it's gotta rewind. I forgot about that. Hold L2 down and, and rewind things and can fast forward. Uh, how the hell do we exit out of here? <laughs> Now that that ain't doing it. Uh, there's gotta be a way to exit out of this. To say I got the Disco Me version with the poster, but figured it was going to be PN Gold or Plus since it's Halloween season. I'm still shocked they did that so quickly, though. Like, they're just cashing in. And uh, for some reason, I can't go back to the menu here. Do I have to like reset the whole thing? I thought there was a reset button on this. It wasn't the Xbox version. Oh, there we go. No, wait a second. All right. Quick save. Quick load. And that's by holding down on the right stick. All right, so how the heck do I get out of here? There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm slow. It took me a minute. Uh, it, was so, it was easier on Xbox to get out of here. All right, let's go to something else. I was going to go straight to Sonic 2, but let's go to something totally different. Uh, Alter Beast. I showed that in the Xbox version. Comic Zone is good. It's a little difficult. I never liked the cap attack. Some people like that. It's a little side scrolling game. I always hated it. And do some mean bean machine. Yeah, it says it right there. Hold to exit. <laughs> it's because I never use a touchpad. I used it in Detective Gallup, but nobody ever uses a touchpad for anything. How's everybody doing this evening? Hope you're enjoying your weekend, the start of your weekend. Beans, beans. Some of these characters are from the old Sonic animated series, and there were of mean bean machine. <laughs> there were two versions of of the Sonic cartoon. There was one that was on Saturday mornings. There was one that was on the uh, weekdays, syndicated. I didn't mean to do that. Just gonna get rid of that real quick. Of my building Bombers here. Will quickly destroy them. I'm trying to set up something massive here, but I don't know if it's going to work. Nope. This might. I like the looks on their faces when, <laughs> when you throw a bunch of those down on them. This is this game is Puyo Puyo. I hope I'm saying that right in Japan. He's done for. It's 
It's about 13 stages, but it gets quicker and harder as you go along. And like I said, the, some of the animated characters from the syndicated Sonic are in here. It's like two or three of them, which I thought was kind of cool. This is not what I want to do. Actually, that's not bad. That worked out better than I thought it would. That was that was a complete mistake, but yeah, I got rid of him real quick. All right, so this is me being machine. It's a fun little puzzler. I don't really like puzzle games like that, but I like Tetris. I like this one. Columns is the right. Columns here too. See that one in stage four? He's one of the characters in the cartoon. Guys, even give him a chance. Heck no. I'm having an issue with the uh, thumbnails not working. I don't know why. I also don't know why you gotta hold the touchpad. I guess some people might hit the touchpad by accident. Who knows? We're gonna save. Go to another game. And this is my room. <laughs> Console settings. Emulator settings. So you can like fix certain things here. Usually I just leave it alone. Start in full screen. You can stretch it if you want, but it, uh, I don't know why you would. It looks like it's got more wallpapers than the uh, Xbox version. I don't remember seeing that one in the Xbox One version, but... I mean, if it does, it's just like a few extra ones. It's not a lot, but... Thought it was weird to see the map on Friday. You have to use talc pad. I mean, touchpad is there to be used. Hi. I don't... Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Uh, we're gonna play some... I mean, if anybody wants me to play a game on here, just let me know. It's a whole bunch to pick from. Alex Kidd, Alien Soldier, Alien Storm, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis, which is like an action RPG, Biohazard Battle, Bonanza Brother Columns. Do you have a bot for live streams? Yes. Although, honestly, I don't know. The bot's been pretty quiet of late. I think it, he comes out at certain comments. Do Sonic 3D Blast. Oh, I hate that game. <laughs> but alright. <laughs> oh, I do not like this game. Even the way they say Sega at the beginning. Ugh. Traveler's Tales game. Bots on summer vacation, but it's the fall now. Get back to work. So I wonder what this means for, for him winning the lawsuit. Did you really like Sonic 3D Blast? I just need to know that before I play this. I was, I was terrible at this game. I just hate the game. Anyway, I don't like it. The Saturn needed a true 3D Sonic game, or 2D Sonic game, and he never got it. He got like Sonic R. I think this came out on Saturn too. It came out on Genesis, I know. I just picked random. Okay, so you picked random one. Alright, so you're not a fan of this. <laughs> well, if you've never seen Sonic 3D it's Blast okay. before, Save the flickies. let the flickies die. We're gonna skip through this intro, we've seen enough. Flickies, flickies, 
more like it's green green grove zone I just didn't like the way the, the way he controls it's like he's skating I don't like this isometric view it's just uh In theory, it's a good idea to have this, but in all reality, I know. Collisions are the most important thing in Sonic games. I mean, this doesn't seem too terrible if you're looking at it, <laughs> but. I can't remember what you're supposed to do there. Just trust me when I say this is a bad Sonic game. Maybe there's somebody out there that likes it and has beaten it and enjoys it, but not me. And I've played most of the Sonic games, except for Sonic Mania. And I've played this one, but not much. To the giant ring. Is this look like a regular Sonic game? This would be amazing, and they would have real 3D graphics. Oh man, just imagine a remaster of this. I wonder what the reviews were like for this game. I mean, cause just because personally I don't like it doesn't mean there's not a huge fan base for it, but... going to something. I'm not even saving <laughs> if you want something else. Alright. I'm going to let y'all pick the next one too. Uh, you got Crackdown. Uh, you got Dynamite Heady, E-Swat, Fatal Labyrinth, F Flicky. Speaking of Flickies, don't make me play Flicky. What's going on, Goopy? Galaxy Force 2, Golden Axe 1, 2, and 3. Gunstar Heroes, which is awesome. Kid Chameleon, Landstalker, Light Crusader, Fantasy Star 2, 3, and Just 4. Just so I would know what games you played in this live stream. Ristar, I think it's Ristar, or Ristar. Shadow Dancer, Shining in Darkness, Shining Force 1 and 2. Shinobi 3, should have put the other Shinobis there. Sonic 1, you 2. You played Bonanza Brothers before. Sonic Spinball, Space Harrier 2. I don't think I've played Bonanza Brothers before. Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. Super Thunder Blades, or you got Shinobi. Oh, they do have another Shinobi in there. Toe Jam and Earl, one and two. Vector Man series, Virtual Fighter two, which is Virtual Fighter two is a great game, but this is a horrible port of Virtual Fighter. Wonder Boy three, and Wonder Boy and Monster World, which I have these two on my uh, Xbox One. All right, so any suggestions, real quick? Play Bonanza Brothers. DDR Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I did Mean Bean Machine. You have to burglarize and steal all items in each level. So we're, we're criminals now. All right. Yeah, Mean Bean Machine. I did Sonic was the first one I did, then Mean Bean Machine. I love Mean Bean Machine. Beating it on many occasions. Alright, so the targets are here, or well, the first targets are... Can I shoot? Yes, I can. What am I doing, Metal Gear Stealth here? How do I get in? Oh, by opening the door, yeah, that would help. Well, it's cops everywhere. Oh my god, what the hell is he? <laughs> it's like a SWAT team. Wow. Wow. Can't go outside. Going back downstairs. This game is tough. Yeah, it looks like it. Why didn't they add Sonic 3 Knuckles? Wow. Uh, the music issues, I think, the licensing issues, but they're available like backwards compatibility on Xbox, so I don't know. It's weird.
I guess you can avoid him like that, like I just did. Made me drop my loot. This looks interesting though. There's more loot there, but I want to avoid these guys. I don't got enough treasures. Well, I'm trying to avoid. Man, that's assault right there. I hope somebody's recording this. Game over. <laughs> it looks interesting. It's better than Sonic 3D Blast, I'll tell you that much. Alright, next one, or I'm gonna pick one real quick. I should show off just how terrible Virtua Fighter 2 is. I would show the RPGs, but they're so long. Like, I don't feel like I can do it justice just by playing like a few minutes. Maybe I'll try to do like a, lo a longer live stream Saturday or Sunday. A little play better with two players. Play through some of these. Sonic the Hedgehog one. I did Sonic one, and I did. Uh, I can do Sonic two though. Gladly play Sonic two. I did the first uh, three acts of Sonic 1, the first, the first act, the first three stages. Miles, Tails. Yeah, this, this really needed Sonic 3 and Knuckles to be here. I thought they were going to add him as DLC, and you know what, they still might. Does the debug mode trick still work in this version? I don't even remember the code all the way. It was like 1965 something something. It's an old school trick. I know that for a lot of these games they disabled the cheats because of the trophies. But like on PS3 you could still do some of the cheats on the uh, 500 rings to rule them all trophy. It would just disable trophies being earned. That's what I miss most, cheat codes. You should to get Super Sonic and Debug. <laughs> That's what Sonic was going all Goku on us. The next act is probably one of my favorite stages, the um, chemical. And act five where you're snowboarding. And I love the music from act five of uh, Sonic 3. You so, know what features do you get when you get to be a monk? Features? I know you can put you can time out people, you can kick people. I don't know if you can ban anybody. You can intimidate people. <laughs> oh man, maybe lose all my rings. It would be cool if they went back and let you spin dash in Sonic 1. Yeah, there's some secret there, but I'm not going back for it. If you have a second player playing with you, Tails can pick you up. Can you make me a mark? You just come to the chat often, come to the channel often. He makes you pay to be a mod, I'll just kill you. <laughs> yes, yes I do. The good thing is if a second player is playing with you, like Tails never dies, so he can do all the dirty work for you. He can kill all the bosses. And you can leave him behind every chance you get.
I actually have two zero and that's the truth. Well, that'll work. We'll, we'll start. I won't charge you the full twenty. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I love this level. This and like I said, Axe Five, a Sonic Three. Some of my favorite levels. And it was great to take like Knuckles here for the first time. Back in the day where you had the add-on cartridge. Did you know on that time the second player controls the ducks? Yes, this is true. On Duck Hunt, the second player can control the ducks. And you also can't shoot that stupid dog. Unfortunately, games like Duck Hunt and Time Crisis, they're unplayable unless you have a CRT TV. You can't play them on HD TVs. The Zapper and the Gun Con won't work on them. But a lot of old school gamers and just uh, game collectors in general, people who enjoy the hobby, they're getting CRT TVs left and right. So they can play the old school games on there. Did you see Sonic in the streets of Rage Mark? No, I did not. But I'd like to check that out. Is he like a playable character? They're coming out with new Streets of Rage, by the way. Oh, we're gonna die. Right, I'm gonna call it rap and do another game. Alright, let's see. Suggestions? Let me know if I'm going too fast. Any suggestions? Audio settings, time of day. Is that the real time? Yes, yes it is. It's Eastern time for me anyway. Alright, no suggestions, so we're going to go ahead and do... Hmm. Yes, he was playable. They also had Vegeta from Dragon Ball. It didn't sue to take this down. If it was Nintendo, it'd be gone. Blue Sky Software. This came out late in the lifespan of the Genesis, 1995. This is when polygons were starting to become big. You know, Star Fox had come out. PlayStation 1 and Saturn were out, you know, either out or coming. Look, it's 2049. That's not too far from now. Warbots. The New World Order is taking over. Remember, renting is from the video store. Video store? What's that? <laughs> I'm a kid. Yeah, Vector Man was awesome. I beat it back in the day. I don't know if I could still beat it. Probably not. <laughs> I wish they had Earthworm Gem on here. Obviously, it's not a Sega title. 
but for me it was synonymous with the Genesis. Even though it was out on Super Nintendo too. was pretty good to this as well. Alright, we're gonna play... We're gonna play a lousy one right now. <laughs> Virtual Fighter 2. And again, Virtual Fighter 2 is a great game. Just this port is horrible. The arcade version of this game, fantastic. The Saturn version of this game, fantastic. This game... Ugh. Because you took a 3D fighter and you made it 2D. Still have ring outs and things, but it's just games play just stink. The graphics stink. Although, I mean, honestly, Virtual Fighter has an age that well anyway. Early on, 3D polygon graphics, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want to play this anymore. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's go on to a good, good game. Uh, something to erase the memory of that. Most people say their favorite Streets of Rage is Streets of Rage 2. Streets of Rage 3 is my favorite. Although I love Streets of Rage 2. I also love the first one. I mean, they're all good. But this is my particular favorite. The music wasn't as great as part 2, but the graphics were amazing. I even like Zan. He plays a kid on skates. Didn't mean to go back there. Let's skip the story mode. It's a fighting game. We don't need no reason to know where we're fighting. We're just beating people up. I wanted to get the Capcom beat em up collection. It's only 20 bucks, seven games, but I'm hearing that the online is really laggy and really terrible, which is unfortunate. Like, how do you screw that up? I think you can play this online as well, but this suffered from some lag too. go out to the same uh, JC Penny apparently all wearing the same outfits this isn't a boss is it? I don't think so maybe
No, that wasn't the boss. Oh, I hate these guys. I hated them in Final Fight. I hate them here. <laughs> Not the same guy, obviously, but... Those, these two series like, share a lot of similarities. I love hit beating up characters off screen. An apple a day. I like how he just drops them off and then goes back. Gonna pick up some more guys. Oh, I forgot you could roll. I'm gonna play this till we get to the boss and then I'll play something else. Yeah, he did go back and pick other people up. It's his job. He's a ferryman. Did you download Foul Play? Yes. I actually had Foul Play on Xbox One already. The 360 version, I think it is. Or maybe it's the Xbox One version, I'm not sure. So I played it there. I haven't played the PS4 version yet. I download all the stuff on PlayStation Plus and, and Gold. Even if I'm not gonna play it, even if I think it's the worst game ever. Because you just never know. Or I could go back and, and say, hey, look, this game sucks so bad. But let's play a sucky game, make fun of it. I've got a series, why did I buy this game? Doesn't this guy get tired of ferrying people over? So what do you think about Friday 13th being free? I ended up selling my physical copy. I was gonna play it earlier and then I remember, wait a second, I don't have it. When I heard it's coming out the plus, I was like, yeah, let me cash in. I don't need that now, I just lost my life. Fantastic. Your special takes life away from you, so I'm just gonna use my special real quick. Get rid of them and go get the turkey. Cause you know, street turkey is good for you. Streets of Rage 4, she's aged pretty well. The trailer that they had. Not Axel so much, <laughs> but uh. Going to be a lot of new players for Friday the 13th. Yeah, that's the only good thing. When, when something comes on plus, it, you know, the player pool increases. And for some games, it helps them immensely. Like Rocket League picked off, picked up. Steam because it was a free on plus as soon as the game came out but for other games the, the studios are saying they're not making any money off of it and it hurt sales like the people that did velocity say that being on plus hurt sales I don't understand that because they're getting paid they're getting paid to be featured on it and more easier kills lol more easier kills <laughs> noobs everywhere this is the boss. Uh, th didn't I see you in Mortal Kombat? Is that you, Liu Kang? Mm -hmm. 
swear they copied that from Mario. That sound effect when you ate the turkey. That was the guy driving the boat. The ferryman. Is, is the name Shiva? It is Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Lost a life. It's all good. I'm rusty as Streets of Rage 3. Oh, I hate those guys. That that boss is annoying as hell. They're jetpack. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not butter. I have a, a day where I just play through all the Streets of Rage games, all the Golden Axe games. Now I'm gonna save it. Alright, uh, let's see, what's a good one? Told you I'm real, I never really got into. It's okay, but I, I don't like it like that. Kid Chameleon is the one where you put on all the different helmets, costumes. It's kinda cool. Uh, I don't know if I remember what Alien Soldier was like. I'm getting flagged, copyright for that, for that music. Treasure did this? People did Gunstar Heroes? You're kidding me. Dynamite Heady, they did this game? I didn't know that. The year's 2015, no, that's years past. Yeah, Comic Zone is here. I've beaten Comic Zone. It's a short game, but it's it's pretty hard. Yeah, this is definitely the treasure game, which you can see just by the weapons here. I guess we're going with that. You are correct, sir. I, I've never played this. And I don't know why. And I don't know why this wasn't on my radar with this being a, a treasure game. Sad to say, I never played this. How the hell did I never hear about this game? I wonder if this is well received by people. I mean, so far, so good. Oh, you can jump up to the ceiling? Oh, this is cool. This reminds me of Metal Storm from the NES. <laughs> I'm not doing so hot right now, but... Damn, this is awesome. I died, but I don't care. This game is awesome. <laughs> I need to play this some more. Damn. The hell did I never hear about this game? No, we're not going to continue right now. I'm just going through some of the games, but... Damn, it's nice. Alien soldier, alright. 
more alien games. I think this is the uh, like a side-scrolling like Streets of Rage type game with aliens. What's it. it called again? The last one was uh, Alien Soldier. This is Alien Storm. This is something different. Yeah, this game I remember. This is not a bad game, but that other game though. I don't know, I never heard of that. This is like Golden Axe, but with aliens in it. I don't think this one's aged too well. Although some, you know, you can say the same for Golden Axe. I still enjoy Golden Axe. Energy tanks all on Mega Man. Yeah. Golden is awesome. It is. She's dressed up like a Power Ranger. I'm just noticing this. The Yellow Ranger. Put your helmet back on. They can see who you are. keep doing this. <laughs> These the aliens look like it came out of Maniac Mansion. David Tentacle. Alright, next game. It's not a bad game though, but it just doesn't age as well. Alex Kidd. I remember Alex Kidd. I think he was on the Sega Master System too. Beat me at the game, and I'll give you a gift. Will you bet your life? Sure, why not? Pick paper, rock, or scissors before the music stops. Ready? Here, take it, you thief. Alright, the gameplay here hasn't held up too well, but... <laughs> Lay low. Yeah, that's enough of Alex Kidd. Gives you an idea what Alex Kidd was like. I wasn't a big Alex Kidd fan even back then. I played it, but you know, it was it was okay. Beyond Oasis, Alter Beast is, uh, it's good, but it hasn't aged well either. This was a packing game for the Genesis back in the day. You could buy a Sega Genesis and get Alter Beast for free. This was before Sonic the Hedgehog. You got power-ups and you can transform into a beast. Oh, don't let me miss that. Power up. Another power up. Now this was the fun part. Welcome to your doom. This is definitely a weird game. I died. 
putting the fan. I used to be good at this. I remember beating this. I beat it on the uh, PS3 version as well, like Genesis. I think it was uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. I got a platinum on that game, which it was a pretty easy platinum. I'll give you that. I think that was my first platinum ever, first platinum trophy. Now I've got like 15 or 20. I don't know. I don't keep track all the way. But yeah, this game hasn't aged that well. I'm not even gonna save that. I mean, I'll run through all these at some point in time. Beyond Oasis. This was Sega's answer to Legend of Zelda. And I can remember playing this, but I don't think I ever beat it. Maybe I did, I just, I don't know, I can't remember, I can't recall. But it had very good graphics, I know that. We're gonna skip the story for now. Your name. We can only put three letters, that's sad. Nicely drawn. I'm gonna cut you. I know you're towns people, but I don't care. It's definitely like an action RPG. You talk to people, you interact with them. Hostile group which attacked him and hurried to see his teacher. Prince Ali, are you alright? I don't know who they were, but you were their target. They may have attacked the castle as well. You must check on your family. This reminds me of the old man from the Legend of Zelda game. Was that cheese that I just ate? Yeah, this game's pretty fun though. And it holds up a little bit better than some of the other games. The RPGs hold up pretty well too. Shining Fours, Fantasy Star, especially Fantasy Star 4 is just beautiful. That was a hundred dollar game back in the day. I would like to see them put virtual racing on here. Mix it up. They keep putting the same titles on each each collection. For those that don't know, Resident Evil's called Biohazard in Japan. And that's why when we got Resident Evil 7, it was Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Japan got Biohazard 7 Resident Evil. Haha. <laughs> this looks like a shooter. 
Genesis had a bunch of shooting games. I don't like calling them shmups. I will never call them sh it's shoot 'em ups. I'll call them that, but I will never call them shmups. Some people do. This doesn't look too bad. No Mars Matrix. But it's not bad. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Columns, which is like Tetris, and I'm gonna skip over that one for now. Alright, comics on might as well. Give you some comics on action. This game holds up pretty well. It looks looks phenomenal then, it looks phenomenal now. Plays like a comic book, looks like a comic book. It's pretty difficult though. And if I remember correctly, it was multiple endings, like you can get a bad ending. I beat this on a Genesis, I beat it on the PS3. But I haven't beaten it in quite some time. Even the intro's nice for this game. With light skin tone, emoji thumbs up with light skin tone, emoji thumbs up with light skin tone. Yeah, thank you. What's up, Integrity Gamer? Check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. He's got a great channel. Good content. currently playing Fallout and Spider-Man. I'm trying to avoid watching Spider-Man. But I haven't played it yet and I want to experience it myself. <laughs> I've seen some, some of the Spider-Man clips. Do they just don't make games like this anymore? Well, there's part of me that, uh, like, I remember the golden age here, but uh, I also appreciate, like, the game. I think we're in another golden age, Spider-Man. I mean, Forza Horizon 4. I mean, it's a good time to be a gamer, then, now. This is not that Xbox One uh, Crackdown 3, if you're thinking that. <laughs> Some of these games hold up better than others in this collection. ID say the last golden age in gaming was 2003-ish. Why do you say 2003? What was coming out in 2003? Refresh my memory. I know 98, 99 had like Metal Gear and uh, Resident Evil 2 and a bunch of heavy hitters.
the cap attack you use the head of the weapon here. That's dynamite heady. E SWAT, Galaxy Force 2, Golden Axe. Alright, let's go to uh let's try out Landstalker. 53 games though, it's not a bad deal. It's $29.99. I'm sure it's going on sale. Black Friday would be able to get deals on everything. Spider-Man probably Black Friday would probably be 30 or 40 bucks. Which if if I've waited this long, I might as well wait a little bit longer. Although, I don't know, I can go out next week and decide to go pick it up, I don't know. We shall see. Metroid Prime, Eternal Darkness, Sanity S. Requiem, Zelda Wind Waker, Half-Life 2, Doom 3, Halo 2, the list goes on. Yeah, some good games there, some very good games there. All heavy hitters. But I mean, there's been plenty of, of good games. I say, um, God of War. I mean, for some, it's it's repetitive. But I'm talking about God of War on PS2 when it first came out, and even the new God of War is amazing. Which reminds me, I still have to uh, finish God of War. Like my PlayStation broke, and it, it, my progress, I had to. I don't have to restart completely, but I'm further back than where I was, and that's like turned me off from playing. But I need to finish. I shall have my revenge. God of War. Did you like the Grand Theft Auto games? Like I wasn't big on Grand Theft Auto 3. I know it was a big game for some, but um. GTA San Andreas, Vice City. Vice City is my favorite. Grand Theft Auto 5, like the offline. I didn't like the online portion of it. That's funny. I love 3. Yeah, 3 was a big game for, for many. For me, it wasn't my favorite. I would get into Fantasy Star, but then the Star PG takes a takes a hot minute. Experiencing history, I've got a trophy. I guess we're trying out different games. Play with me. What do you think about that PlayStation Classic that's coming out? 20 games. They announced five of them so far. Hundred dollar price tag. No plug though. But they said you can use them like any kind of pretty much USB cell phone charger. Which pretty much everybody has one of those lying around somewhere. This game was awesome back in the day, still is. Do a co-op stream sometime. I'd be totally be down for some streets of rage or golden axe. Well, that's I am not down for the Sony Classic Iola.
Do you have this game on the uh, PS4? Although you can with with game sharing, with uh, sh share play, you can play on anything. So we can play together for like up to an hour, and then even after it ends, you can play another hour. But yeah, I'd be down for that. Streets of Rage one, two, three, um, the Golden Axe series. What's your all-time favorite console? Yes, I have that game. Got it day one. Ah, that's what's up. I had it on Xbox One, and I, um, I've gotten it now on PS4. My all-time favorite console, that, that's hard. That's too hard, because I, I love the NES. I love the Genesis. I love the Super NES. I love the Dreamcast. I have fond memories of the Dreamcast. I love the PSP. I love my Vita, even though nobody bought it. <laughs> but I bought it, damn it. Um, yeah, there's just so many good good systems, good consoles. I couldn't pick one. I was copping out, but the PS1 was phenomenal. PS2 was amazing. I love my PS4. I love my Xbox One currently. Like, I, I can't, like, if that was asking me, like, not right now to pick between my PS4 and my Xbox One, I love them both. I couldn't pick. They both have pluses and minuses. Positives and negatives. This is a classic from the arcades. Super Nintendo for me personally. I did buy a Vita. That is generally how I play my PS1 games. Yeah, most people don't know. You can play uh, a lot of the classics. MOG thinking face. Except for Crash and Spyro for some unknown reason. And I'm dying a lot. <laughs> Pick another game. I used to be good at that game. Uh, let's see what what else. You know what? I'm gonna show you show you an RPG just for the heck of it. I used I to play a lot of RPGs back in the day. Super Nintendo Classic. Yeah, I've got an SNES Classic. Wasn't bad. Eighty bucks. Which is, I think, what the NES Classic was, what sixty. Um, but the SNES Classic, well, the NES Classic was harder to find. I know that. The SNES Classic wasn't that hard to find. Eighty bucks. Uh, was it twenty-one games? If you count the unlockable Star Fox Two. And all you had to do is play one level of Star Fox to unlock Star Fox Two. So it was not that hard. There's a lot of reading to do in these RPGs. I used to be a big, big fan of role-playing games. This was a $99 game when it came out. Which is nuts. But I, then again, I kind of feel like it, it's worth every penny. Yup, 6 0. I have them both. I actually bought legit copies of the games that didn't he come on those and then put their ROMs on there. Nice. The only thing I wish was the controller length was a little longer on the NES and SNES Classic. I mean, you can buy extenders, but... It 
would have been nice if they would have put Fantasy Star 1 on here, but that's a Sega Master System title, so I see why they didn't. And again, it would have been super cool if they put a license in Mortal Kombat and some of the other Genesis titles from third parties, Earthworm Jim. I bought the extenders. Also just received the NES Advantage for my NES Classic today. Look out, bot dudes. <laughs> Nicely done. I had an NES Classic, and I remember when nobody could find it, and everybody's going crazy about it, I ended up selling mine for like four times what I paid for it. And so I didn't look back. I haven't bought another one. I've got an SNES Classic that I'm keeping. Get them easy now. Yeah, they've since re-released the NES Classic. But I remember people going nuts trying to find those things. This game's graphics were phenomenal this is the back best in the day. Game ever. Yes, it is. Hands down. I mean, there's a por portion where he's surfing. <laughs> it's just cool. GG. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out Integrity Gamers channel as well. Maybe I'll have a day where I just run through some of these old games. Full playthroughs. Thanks for the reminder, just like. Time that right. The music in this game is just amazing. They did a pretty good job with the emulation too. I really can't complain much. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. I didn't. I didn't have to pay him to say that. <laughs> Your checks in the mail, integrity. I apologize in advance if it bounces. One was on the house, MOG wing. I'm not even saying much because I'm just I'm just saying to Shinobi right now. Oh, 
I'm gonna save my progress in this one. I didn't save my progress in every game, but I'm gonna save my progress in this one. It's so boss what time. Do you think? If you had to just choose one console, is it the Super Nintendo? I couldn't choose just one. Oh, don't make me choose just one. <laughs> oh, I could not choose just one. And as much as I... Okay, I'll say this much. As much as I love the SNES and the Genesis, um, like I put the Dreamcast. I am forcing you to choose just one. I put the Dreamcast and the NES ahead of the Genesis and Super Nintendo. In some ways. Now, if you're talking about best Super 16, best 16-bit console. I, I couldn't even choose there. Like, I love the Genesis. I love the SNES. Three, two, one. I wish I... I wish I had a chance to play the TurboGrafx-16 more. I know it didn't have a lot of games, but I played Bonk. Bonk was good. Immortal totally gets it. MOG thumbs up with light skin tone. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. He's almost dead too though. And I'm dead. Oh, I thought I'd be able to beat him for the stream. <laughs> It's only the first boss too. Got one for a Christmas in the early 90s about lost my mind. His head almost exploded. Well looks like I just won $20. Determined to beat him. Sweet. Twenty dollars. What? We've been playing the slots again. the prettiest but he's, he's done for I don't know why Sega's sitting on all these good properties and not doing anything with them hey this was epic too the horse riding the surfing that music Razor, Contra 3, Super Castlevania 4, Chrono Trigger, Zelda Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Turtles in Time. Act Razor was great, but I don't know if I liked the, the parts where you had to build the, the civilization up. It was kind of like some city. I think it just, it would have done better if they made that a separate game or something. Or it, drug, it drug the game down. I wanted just the action sequences. Which, that was Accurator 2, I think. But I didn't really play Accurator 2 much. Turtles, I played on a million times. Arcade, SNES, NES, Genesis. 
They got a new Turtles game, new arcade Turtles. It's, uh, this one's based on the Nickelodeon series, though. Oh, by the way, Castlevania is coming to PS4 uh, next month, October 26th. Exclusively on PS4. Londo of Blood and uh, Symphony of the Night, the PS1 classic. Which you could play Symphony of the Night on Not Xbox perfect. One. I like the sim card of Act Razor. Act Razor 2 is an abomination. Really? Act Razor 2 is that, that bad? I didn't play it much. Super Metroid, yes. I like the original Metroid. I remember getting the ending and she takes her helmet off. And you find that it's a... Well, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that, you know, it's... People know at this point in time, she's a woman. It's a woman under the helmet. That was ground back breaking back in the day. All the time when you had to make Just maps for, right. for certain games. Oh, I meant to save. Yeah, let me save that. Have you played any of the online multiplayer in this? Is it is it decent? Let me test it out. I think you've got to select certain games though, otherwise it'll put you into anybody's Not online yet. game. Yeah, they added new challenges here too. Defeat the crab nap using just a dagger. Defeat the second boss while playing his axe battle but using no magic or continues. Complete Green Hill Zone Act 2 in mirror mode in under a minute. They have a mirror mode which basically just instead of going it's basically like acts like a mirror. Pretty much. I'm right, gonna try this challenge for the heck of it. Instead of going from left to right, we're going from right to left. I gotta go to work. Have a good one, guys. I right, take it easy. Thank you for tuning in. I am like Zoolander. I can't see turn left. <laughs> yeah, I'm Peace not. Out, immortal. I'm I'm sucking at this challenge. Let me see what other challenges they got. A defeated twin bosses in the stage two with just ten percent health. Oh, Lord have mercy. Complete stage one without losing a life. It looks like the challenges are are different than the Xbox One version. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Starting in the middle of the game, get a score of at least 4,000. I can do that. I can do that challenge. It's searching for online players. But I think if you don't change your settings, it'll throw you in the game of an, of any online game. Even one you might not want to play. No boy, no. points, right? I don't know if 
hole and drop this yet, but... thousand points or not. Did I get it? And that robot next main beam machine. I didn't get it, did I? Oh well. I got it on the Xbox One, that's that much I know. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, so this is a little bit from the uh, Genesis collection. This is the PS4 version. I played the Xbox One version already. And at some point, I will go through all these games. At some point, I'm going to play Mario with integrity. Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario All Stars, Donkey Kong Country Trilogy, Street Fighter 2, Final Fantasy games. Fantastic games. Oh, I'll, I'll beat you in some Street Fighter. I'll play Street Fighter. Street Fighter's got a online collection. I don't know how the. The, uh, lag is but I'm down for playing Street Fighter 2 at any point in time but I'm gonna I'm gonna head on out of here check out integrity gamers channel I've plugged it like a bazillion times already don't forget to like share and subscribe to this it's next level taken thank you for watching thank you for coming in the chat thank you for joining us for some reliving some 16-bit classics some good old memories from the Sega Genesis days the next level taken. I have the 3-0th anniversary on PS4. Let's fight live streamed. <laughs> That's what's up. Till next time, everybody.